Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue the recurring tasks demo that I did before. In that demo, I showed you how to copy and paste template tasks into a task list. Works okay, but I would suggest that you use the access method instead. I like that one better. It's a bit complex to set up, but after that, it can be made very, very simple. And also, we can get it to fill out the due date. So I'm going to start access. And I'm going to create a new blank desktop database. Ignore the table one that we have there. And then go into external data and get a SharePoint list. And I've already used this site. If I didn't know the address, I would copy the shortcut from there and paste it in there. Now I'm going to use a linked table and I'm going to link the two tables to do and every month. Those are the ones I want to use. Now I'm going to uh, create a query. And that's going to take the information from every month. So I want, of course, the what and who and day of month. Actually, not the day of month yet. So those are the fields I want. I'm going to delete that there by pressing the delete key. And of course, those are going to be appended to the to-do list. And I'm going to append the what to the task name field and the who is going to be added to the assigned to. However, it's not that simple because the assigned to is actually a numeric value and I'm going to show the table user info which contains the user information from, from all the users that have been involved in this site. So I'm going to connect the who to the name and use the ID field instead to put that ID into the assigned to field. So let's run this query now and you'll see that in the to-do list now I should have no less than 20 of these tasks. So first the 10 that I copied in my previous demo and now the 10 new ones that I created with the query. So that query works and now of course I want to get the information about the day of month in there also. So I'm going to create another query here or another output field before that I want to add two parameters. I want to add the year which is going to be an integer and the month which is also going to be an integer and then I'm going to use a builder and I'm going to use one of the built-in functions a date and time function called date serial and then I'm going to take these values the parameters here the year and the month and the value from the current table every month, day of month, I'm going to use that in there. And that of course builds a date field based on these values. And that's going to be my due date. I'm going to put that in the due date field. And now let's run this and of course I'll get the queries. So I'm going to do 2016. And the month is going to be 1. And there we go. And now in the to-do, you'll notice that I have indeed 30 tasks. These are the ones I just created. If I want to start from scratch, I'll just delete everything. I just select it up there, press delete on the keyboard, and then run my query again. Under design here, 2016, one. Run, yes. And then refresh this list, and there we go. There are all the tasks. And then I can just keep running the query again, run 2016 month 2 and so on and now I can close this and save it add tasks so I can keep doing that month by month or year by year or whatever I want and just run these queries and I'll have a lot of queries in my SharePoint list there you go so that concludes my second demo on repeating tasks or recurring tasks Thank you for watching.